welcome back to my channel. I'm KK. In today's video, I'm gonna share my February 2024 bullet journal setup with you. Before we dive into the new month, let's have a quick flip through my January bullet journal. For those of you who are new here, I use a smaller weekly planner for my to-dos, events and appointments, etc. And my bullet journal is mainly for habit tracking and reflections. At the time of the video is filmed, there's still a few days left in January, so my pages aren't fully completed yet. For heavy trackers, this year I've put them all in the beginning of my book, and I'm pretty happy with how I've been doing, um, especially on my workouts and maintaining a healthy diet. For my food habits, I've color coded them green for healthy choices, yellow for average, and red for unhealthy or junk food. I think visualizing it really helps push me to minimize those red entries. As you can see, even during the holiday season at the beginning of the month, I still managed to stick to a pretty healthy diet. So February, I decided to go with a simpler and more time efficient theme because there were extra days off at the beginning of January for holidays. It's been a shorter month and I've been very busy. So I decided to go with this wavy line theme for February. I'm just gonna draw some wavy lines using different shades of neutral and earthy colors. It's incredibly easy and you don't need much drawing skills at all. And it doesn't require a lot of thought or precision either. To add a bit of visual interest, I decided to make the center of the page a lighter color and gradually transition into darker shades on either side. It's almost symmetrical and this will make the title stand out better when I write on it. I'm using Tumble Dual brush pens for this theme and these colors are from their portrait set. For the title, I decided to go really bold and fun. I'm using my Sakura Pigma micro pen to draw the shape first. This one is one mil tip. I think this style goes well with the wavy lines and it's adding a vibrant and dynamic touch, making the overall theme more lively. The notebook I'm using is a Paper Ideas A5 dotted notebook. If you're interested in the supplies I'm using, you can find them all on my online stationery store, Hedgehog Journals. I'll put the links in the description box below. So, how has everyone's January been? I hope you all had a fantastic start to the new year, and more importantly, that you are staying on track with your resolutions or goals. Personally, I feel this month has flown by so quickly. I wanted to kick off the new year with a fresh start with more control, but I already find myself playing catch up and chasing schedules. And here we are, 1 12th of 2024 has passed and we are already into the second month. Maybe I need to find a better way to manage my time. But anyways, it's also important to remember not to stress too much. Our mental and physical health is more important than our material goals. So listen to your body. And if you didn't have the best start to the year, that's okay. The rest of the year will bring things up. So as you noticed in my January flip through earlier, on the left hand side of the monthly cover, I had a little um, a doodle a day section and I've decided to continue that here to the left side as well. This area used to be my habit and sleep tracker but now that I've put them all to the front of the book, this place is left empty. So I thought it'd be fun to fill it with some doodled highlights of the mouth. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe my channel so you don't miss out on my content. And if you have any theme suggestions, feel free to comment below and let me know. I always love to hear what you guys come up with. So here's the monthly pages and let's move on to the weekly layouts. As usual, since my weekly layout is just for reflection, so the layout will just be the simple eight boxes. Seven boxes for seven days of the week and one box for my weekend review. 
Once again, it's pretty simple. I got some other wavy line ideas from Pinterest as well. And for week one, I'm drawing a few groups of simple lines here. I don't even know what's this called, but you might have seen these patterns on home decorations, art, or prints. I'm just gonna leave the drawings here and not making blogs for each day. I'm pretty sure the drawing will clearly indicate me on where to start and finish writing. For the days and the days of the week, I'm keeping them simple as well. I don't want to disrupt the overall drawing and I'll leave a small play symbol for my week in review. So week one is super simple and easy to make. Now let's move on to week two. I love having a bit of variety to each weekly layout while keeping them within the same theme. This way it allows me to put more creativity in it and make it more fun. For week two, I decided to continue with more wavy lines. Each day is about eight grid space. I use the same gradient of earthy colors, light in the middle and darker on either side, creating a symmetrical page again. I left some space on either side to write days using a smaller version of the bold font from the title of the month. Moving on to week three, I kept it simple with a circle in the middle of the page and some decorative lines to divide the page into four boxes. I added a dot on each day to fill up the space. I opt to write the full titles for the days of the week instead of just using initials as in the previous weeks to fill up the space as well. Now for week four, I'm doing it a little bit different. I used my washi tapes to line up the boxes and filled each box with wiggly lines. Since I'm filling the entire box, I chose lighter colors so they don't conflict with my writings later on. And I'm also alternating between the two colors here as well. I then reused my washi tape because of course I don't want to waste them. Unfortunately, my phone ran out of storage during the process, so I didn't get to film the second half of week four, but I hope you get the idea and I hope you don't mind. So here we are, February is all set up. Let's have a quick flip through to see the final results. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. I'd really love to hear your feedbacks. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe my channel if you enjoy my content. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care.